Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Sorry about the really weird camera here. I'm using my GoPro and it's a little fisheye. Hard to get everything in that I needed in for this shot. But, I've got my 705 sitting here on the desk. There's nothing hooked to it except for the microphone and an antenna. It's running on its internal battery. No USB connection at all. And I have my cell phone here and I'm gonna to touch the screen of my cell phone and watch what happens. I'm tuning, I'm tuning the radio with my cell phone. What's going on? Well, I'm gonna to talk to you today about remote control over Bluetooth with an app on a cell phone. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So let's, uh, let's talk about this thing, and in order to do this, let me get my other camera going here so I can give you the screen of the radio. Now you should be able to see the screen of the radio up there somewhere. And this new version of Android has a screen recorder. So I will turn this on. All right, now we should be able to put the phone on the screen as well. This is gonna be a crazy edit. Okay, here we go. Um, hopefully you should be seeing everything. So this is an app written for Android. I do not know about Apple, I'm sorry. Uh, there's probably something out there that uses Bluetooth to allow you to remotely control the ICOM 705. The 705 has a Bluetooth functionality for rig control through a serial port and audio for a headset. I haven't been able to get audio working to the computer yet. There's technical reasons for that. If I figure it out, I'll do a video on it. But as far as Bluetooth for rig control, that allows a simple app running on the cell phone, as you can see, to control the radio. And we can use the tuning knob and we can tune it. You can see I'm tuning up and down the spectrum there. Um, I can do more granular tuning by tapping the bottom or the top of the knob to move it in increments. And you can set those increments down here, this green button below the knob. If I tap that, you can see we've got a full range of steps from 10K down to 1 Hertz. And uh, right now I think I had it set at 1K because I'm in AM mode. Uh, above the tuning knob we can see the s meter we can see the frequency we can see the mode and i can switch the mode so let's uh let's go to upper sideband and you can see the radio switched and you can hear it um let's go to 20 meters uh, because up above there you can see there's a band button if i type that 14 megahertz and uh 14 200 usb and there we go now we're on 20 meters and i can tune around And there we are. Now this app also gives you control over not only the mode and the band, but the filter. So I could pick one of my three filters. Uh, and there are some hidden settings in here. Up at the top there, it shows us our RF power is currently at 39% and AF gain is at 13%. If I tap the three little buttons up here to bring up settings, Here's all of our settings for it, where you set your CIV address, your target um, device. Uh, frequency range, there's a Japanese mode there. The, the author of this is Japanese. I'll show you the page on the uh, Play Store uh, in a moment. Um, meter refresh rate is in seconds. AF gain control, volume up and down changes AF gain. I've got that on, I'll show you how that works. And send tuning carrier, a long press up down sends a tuning carrier and then an RF power for that. So if you have an automatic antenna tuner, you can use that to cause your tuner to tune. I've got it set to 10% power, which is one watt, so nice and low. We're not gonna hurt the finals while it tunes. 
So um, those are the settings. Uh, there's a few other things here that are eh, not very important for this. Um, so let's, uh, let's go and show you how those work. So first off, volume control. So the volume on the phone, which I've got over here with my thumb, if I hit up or down on that, oops, I held it too long. <laughs> Remember long press sends a tuning carrier? Well, there you go. Um, holding down the volume button for more than about half a second throws it into transmit, sending out a carrier at the set power, which I had it set for 10% or one watt. So you heard my antenna tuner up there rattle as it uh, did its tuning cycle. But if I just tap the volume up and down, I can turn the volume of the radio up. I can turn the volume of the radio down. If I switch bands, let's go to say 17 meters, and I need to tune my antenna tuner, I'll just hold the volume button in for half a second. It goes into tuning mode, I hold it in again to switch it out, and uh, we have now tuned the antenna tuner for that band. So this little uh, remote app gives you a lot of functionality for controlling the radio from your cell phone. Why would you want to do that? Well. We know that ICOM has a backpack that lets you put the radio um, on your back with an antenna even on the backpack and then just use the speaker mic to operate pedestrian mobile. Well, this would definitely give you the ability to adjust your radio while you're walking along, switch bands, do whatever you need to do. So very, very useful for that and kind of cool. You know, I mean, this is, this is just cool. Just being able to, to swing around on the bands, tune around. Um, but I'll tell you what I use it for. Hello. <laughs> I know, I look lazy, don't I? Well, the reality is that my back is in terrible shape. And usually by afternoon, it hurts bad enough that I have to spend a little time here on the couch. I'll take a ibuprofen or a Tylenol and I'll have to lay here and maybe even take a little nap and let the muscles stop spasming. So often, I have the radio on. I don't know if you can hear it in the background there. But it's on and uh, I'll put it on, say, 20 meters listen to some CW. It's kind of nice to drift off to a nap. Copy and code in my head helps the speed a little bit. But the annoying thing is if I decide I want to listen to something else, like shortwave, I got to get up. And uh, believe me, when your back hurts, you don't want to do anything. So that's where this comes in super handy. So there you go. Um, that's a pretty neat little feature, I'll tell you that. Uh, as you saw, for me, at least, when I have to lay down on the couch, this is super handy for, uh, you know, listening to the radio, shortwave listening. Uh, sometimes if I'm going to take a nap, I'll put it on uh, 20 meters on 14.060 and drift off to sleep, copy and code in my head as I listen to the soda guys uh, making contacts or whoever happens to be around. So that's, uh, that's pretty neat right there for me. But if you were operating pedestrian mobile and had the radio in a backpack or on your hip or whatever, this would be a nice way to quickly uh, tune and adjust it. Um, other uses for it, uh, I have put a speaker in the window and sat outside to enjoy the weather, but I wanted to listen to the to Radio New Zealand, you know, and I was able to quickly bring the phone up and just switch the bands and tune around. So um, pretty darn neat, I thought. I figured I'd show this to you guys. Uh, so the link to the app will be in the video description below. And uh, um, that's it. Oh, there's one other thing we can do. We can power off the radio. If I go up here to the menu, oh, I can adjust my RF power output right there, which is kind of handy. Um, but if I uh, go back here to the menu, oh, memory mode, you can select memories in the radio. But you see this power off here? If I tap that, you really want to power off because you can't power it back on. Okay. And it shut the radio off. And with that, we'll close the video. I hope you found that interesting, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.